Wow, the lore tabs in Destiny always inspire me to continue researching the story, and Tommy's matchbook is a great example of this. But today I decided I was going to try to finish up the Catalyst, and during a, you know, a short break of all the slaughter, I finally read through the lore tab on the weapon. And this sent me down a rabbit hole of topics concerning the Drifter, Anor Mahal, which I may be butchering that name, Cade Six's death, and uh, the special bullet that killed Sundance, which is interesting. Uh, that's Cade Six's ghost. Um, but for this video, I'll be reading through Tommy's Matchbook's lore tab uh, in hopes to inspire others that go to, you know, to go down that rabbit hole as well. So here we go. The entrance to the Hunter's Den on 7th Street immediately led to a flight of dark, dirty steps that went down two stories in multiple flights. A maglev train roared overhead as Anor reached the bottom. She had blinked through the void to skip as many steps as she could, and it made her a little angry. The hunters who built this place must have thought the stairs were theatrical and intimidating instead of a complete waste of time, like this trip was turning out to be. The place was deserted. No one passed her on the way down. Multiple card tables sat under a single rusty overhead lamp. There were a few possibly loaded sidearms left on the floor and rifles leaning against the walls. The occasional food wrapper from the deli upstairs accompanied the guns on the floor, and there were more guns by far. Something moved in the corner. Anor's Minuet 42 hand cannon came up in her fist. Hey, whoa, no one draws in the den. Are you crazy? A hunter in full strike gear and his ghost walked out of the shadows, hands and shell pieces in the air. It was the ghost who had spoken. Oh, a warlock? That tracks. Ornor flashed her cormorant seal. Ornor, praxic order. What does an internal affairs want with a hunter's den? The question itself was a lie. Your names? I'm Tommy, said the ghost. I'm ghost, said the hunter. Ornor holstered the minuet, made another visual sweep of the room. Where is everyone? Hunters have been hard to find in the tower. Bounties and strike assignments are piling up. Tommy cocked his shell. Drifter must have the Praxix working overtime since Cade died. Ghost drew a long knife across the back of his armored fist. It sang coldly. Every single hunter worth their salt is either out on a mission to save the world or spending their time away from the city to avoid the Vanguard dare. Ornor looked from Ghost to Tommy and back again. Listen. Tommy whispered. As Ghost sheathed his knife and stepped forward, he held out a long, white-bodied rifle with a flat, disc-shaped drum instead of a standard magazine. This is the most expensive thing we own. You can have it. Just please don't tell anyone we were here and get someone in that vanguard chair. The hunters are losing their minds out there. Well, there you have it. Cade Six's death left a gaping hole in the vanguard and hunters are absolutely scrambling. And if you read into Anor and her investigations, you'll find that she is not to be trifled with and has discovered some information that's really worth reading in regards to Cade and Sundance's death. I highly recommend looking into it. But anyway, thank you for listening and please share your thoughts on the lore in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. It really helps out. And if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you have to say and I'll catch you on the next video.